something straight out of Batman. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. kind of fancy, huh? Thurston County Sheriff are arming their patrol cars for the future. It's almost like when the police radio first came out. Like, hey, this thing's really helpful, right? Like, we can talk ahead to each other. These little babies are called the Grappler Police Bumper. They disable suspect cars and chases. And Thurston County Sheriff Derek Sanders tells me he's looking to install 10 of them soon. If you can grab a hold of someone and hold on to them and they can't flee anymore, you've just ended the, li the high liability risk to the public. But that's not the only tech Thurston County Sheriff are investing in. They also just bought GPS tracking darts that they can fire at fleeing cars. With Star Chase, it really gives us a great starting point for officers and detectives to locate the vehicle, sometimes as quick as 30 minutes after deploying. Uh, before, it sometimes would take two weeks or a month to locate those vehicles. Nearly 100 miles north of Thurston County, Linwood police have been using Star Chase's GPS tracking dart for more than a year. Department spokesperson Marin McKay tells me Linwood police use the tracker more than 60 times in 2023 and saw big results. But really I wanted to try both of them and any other third party companies as well to figure out if there are better methods to capture people. The total cost for both the Star Chase GPS tracker and the Grappler police bumper is tens of thousands of dollars. But Sanders says that's much cheaper than the damage done to patrol cars during chases. He tells me the upcoming law change and this new tech will make their jobs easier. But the real change won't come from inside the department. We really want to get back to a point in time pre-2021 where People are just making good decisions. Reporting in Thurston County, A.J. Janifel, Fox 13 News.